chamber. So normally the pressure inside of the marshmallow and outside of the marshmallow is the same, they are balanced. And um, when the vacuum pump pumps out all of the um, air molecules inside the chamber, then the pressure inside and outside of the marshmallows is not the same anymore, they are unbalanced. So the air molecules inside of the marshmallows, they just, um, when, when there's not much air outside of them to keep them in anymore, they just keep moving, vibrating, and they expand the marshmallows. And once they get enough energy to move out, escape from the marshmallows, they do. And after that, if I return the normal uh, pressure to the chamber, then the pressure outside will shrink the marshmallow because there's not air inside anymore to balance the pressure. So the pressure outside will just make the marshmallow shrink. So the second experiment is boiling water inside a vacuum chamber. So normally, when the pressure um, outside of the water is the same as the pressure inside of the water molecules, then the pressure is balanced, the forces are balanced. So if uh, we take out all of the air inside of the vacuum chamber, then there's not as much pressure pushing down on the water molecules anymore. So the molecules, uh, the water molecules, will be able to escape more easily. And that's how you boil water. And um, one more thing, when you uh, boil it inside a vacuum chamber, it doesn't really uh, increase in temperature because um, we don't have any input energy inside. We just take out the the pressure on top of the water so we don't input any more energy and um, when the water molecules escape from the water uh, they take some some of their energy with them so that decreases the temperature So the last experiment is the bell. We put a bell inside the vacuum chamber and then we just suck out all the air from, from the chamber. So normally, if we have a bell, then it produces sound waves and sound waves cannot travel without a medium, as in the air. It cannot travel um, in a vacuum. It has to have air to travel in sound waves. So when we uh, take out all of the air, then it has nowhere, no medium to travel in anymore. So sound waves cannot reach our ears because it cannot travel. Hello, my name is Lola and I come from 7i. Today uh, I and uh, Miss Vera want to do like that in two space. Um, first I'm gonna add this chemical one uh, is called um, hunting for style or something. I'm getting that for that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe like that. Oh, or oh, oh, maybe yeah. We have some color here. You can choose whatever color you like, but I can choose three. Yeah. <laughs> um, about five drops, something like that. Dishwashing liquid. Hmm, it smells good. Just a squid of it. Yay. Yay. Okay, I think so. Yeah. Um, and the last one, uh, I don't remember what it's called. Like, I'm going to add this chemical very. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, it's a mess. Wow, really? 
right, left, and to the and now, Mr. Uh, Dr. Kid will demonstrate the Japan Fire experiment. This is a very dangerous experiment and never done before. Do not try this at home. Okay. So I will fill up uh, a tube with water. There was an explosion. So, as you can see, there was a huge flame coming from the oil. Dr. Keith, can you explain what happened? Um, so, as you can see, when the oil caught fire, it is really hot. And when I put the water, the water sinks down at the bottom because the water is denser than the oil. And because the oil is extremely hot, it the water evaporates immediately, and the gas and the gas the water turns into help the flame to get bigger, and that's the answer. Wow, it's incredible. Back to you. Hi. Today we're gonna show you guys what will happen if we mix milk, soap, and food coloring together. So, we're gonna make that cool experiment today. First, you don't know why when milk, soap, and food coloring mix together, it turned out so amazing like that. Well, from what I read, the soap break down the fat in the milk and cause the food coloring to swirl and make some really interesting design. Well, the soap is a degreaser, so the most cool in it are attacking the fat in the milk, causing motion. Well, the surface tension of the milk is broken by the reaction, which creates the swirl of colors. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's get started. These are things that we will need for the experiment. First, plate, milk, food coloring, steak, and dish soap. First, we're going to pour the milk all around the plate. and drops of food coloring. Then we're going to use the spit and dip it into the soap and put it in the center of the plate. See what will happen.